Hi everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4. So, we are almost ready to liberate Yugoslavia. We just need to wait around two weeks. Just over two weeks, yes. And I think I'll still liberate Bulgaria after that. Just to get easier access to both Greece and Turkey. In case I decide to attack them. Or liberate them, I mean. Obviously. So justify war goal. It shouldn't take too long. Only 25 political power. Now, I could justify war on all of these territories, but that's not really necessary. So, yep. Let's do that. And we can still spend some political power on an advisor. We have a few options. I was thinking about researching some better ships, because we have quite a few naval dockyards by now. And using them on these really outdated submarines is just a waste of production. I wouldn't mind getting something better. As an alternative, we can just focus a lot on fighters and bombers. So I could get a guy for that. One or the other. Let's have a look. Aircraft designer. Minus 10% air research time. But which guy do we want? Fighter, carrier, fighter. Yeah, we won't be getting any carriers. Huh. What about medium aircraft designer? Possibly. Strategic bomber. We won't be getting any strategic bombers anytime soon. But heavy fighters aren't bad. We could go for that. And tactical bombers are also quite useful. What about the naval guy? Let's have a look. That's just minus 10% research time. You know what? Let's get that guy. I would really like to get some better submarines, because these are just really outdated. The ones we are producing right now. It feels like a waste of production, honestly. Alright, and how is our research doing? Yeah, we'll finish quite a lot of research in the near future. That's nice. Alright, just wait for that war justification. We could totally start justifying on Greece, if we want to. They do have some resources. If I check the resource map mode, they have some steel and chromium, aluminum. I wouldn't mind. Maybe we'll do it. How long do we have to wait? 125 days. But since war justifications expire after some time, we can wait a little bit longer before we actually start justifying. I still want to attack the Axis, obviously. I mean, that's kind of the whole idea here. We are almost ready. We'll take quite a lot of resources from Yugoslavia too. One of the reasons why I'm attacking them, they have a lot of aluminum and chromium. Not the most useful resources of all time, but they are useful. Come on, two more days. And we can get started. Alright, let's do it. Now, Italy is still justifying, but I don't think they'll have a chance to attack Yugoslavia by the time we conquer them, or liberate them, I mean. I'm not calling my allies, but the war will almost definitely get merged with our other war. So yeah, the Soviet Union will join one way or the other. Yugoslavia joined the Allies, alright? Yep, the war got merged. I love how this is still called the Czechoslovakian War. The Polish-Czechoslovakian War. Even though it's not been that for years now. Alright, execute the battle plan. And watch the fireworks. China has capitulated. Oh, okay. That means Japan just got a whole lot bigger. They are about to grab all of this crap here. Yep. Japan is actually doing really well. From my limited experience so far, Japan tends to do really well initially, but then they start losing. This is the biggest Japan got in all my games so far, because I had a few test runs before this, and Japan never got this big in any of them. I'm curious to see how this will develop. I guess we'll find out. Anyway, let's go back to our own war. 
And while we're fighting, I can show you some of the combat modifiers from terrain, for example, because I saw a few comments with people asking how much terrain affects combat, because I basically bleached Romania through the mountains. And it does affect combat a lot. There are some really brutal penalties for fighting in harsh terrain. But the thing is, I basically brute force these penalties with my very high soft attack divisions. Let's have a look. This might be a good example. That's forest. Yeah, that's actually a good example. So right now we are only getting 37% of our total attack because of all the penalties that you can see. The night penalty is temporary, but it's still pretty damn harsh. But even though we are getting all these penalties and we have a total of 63% penalty to our attack, we still got almost 200 soft attack because our base soft attack value is so high. My current division template has 700 soft attack. So that's a lot. I can basically still get around 200 soft attack even with a ton of penalties from terrain. But normally these penalties do actually affect combat a lot. As you can clearly see. But yeah, we don't really care about that all that much in this situation. These are heals, so I can show you this one. 30% penalty from terrain and 68% penalty for river crossing. It's much easier to defend if you're fortified across the river, obviously. Alright, so what do we want to research next? It's a little bit too early for weapons free and I can still get a 50% bonus for that. I think we should go for that submarine. I would really like to get some better submarines. Because these are just really crap. Let's work on that. Alright, and naval dockyards. Just assign them here. Yeah, we got 8 naval dockyards right now, which is quite a lot actually. Okay, infantry equipment, because we still need to upgrade 25,000 infantry equipment or something like that. Yeah, we got 25,000 weapons won. No, we got even more than that. Yep. It's not as important as getting any weapons at all, but upgrades are still pretty important. So, come on people, attack more, thanks. Go, go, go. Slackers. And Luxembourg joined the Allies. Yeah, because Germany declared war on it. Hey, that means we'll also be at war with Luxembourg, I guess. Yep. Oh no. <laughs> don't kill us, Luxembourg. Spoiler, I don't think they will. I'm just saying. This is going really well. Not that I expected anything else in this situation. How's that work? Justification from Italy. I don't think they will make it. No, they will almost definitely not make it. Alright. Wait. Is Yugoslavia in the war? Okay, hold on. I think Yugoslavia is in the German-French war. Is it? Yes, it actually is. Okay, so Yugoslavia is at war with Germany. Alright. I mean, it doesn't look like Germany is actually attacking Yugoslavia, but they are at war. So let's hurry up with this. Is Italy not in that war then? No. Really? Okay. I assumed Italy joined the war with France, but it didn't. Okay. We're getting some more planes in reserves. Let's check that out then. Okay, we can create a new air wing. How many do we have? 49 support planes and 43 fighters. Alright then. So, yeah, these are kind of crap, but oh well. They are still worth something. We can do it like this, and that's good enough. Probably send it elsewhere. Maybe we should assign them in the first place. So hold on. Western Balkans. Right? Yes, like this. Can we move a little bit closer? Where are the airports? 
it's sometimes a little bit hard to see all the airports. I think this is the closest airport. Looks that way, yeah. Alright. And we are already there, I suppose. So, Western Balkans. Close air support, close air support, and air superiority. Sounds good. It won't really make a huge difference, but there we go. Okay, hold on. Resistance to occupation, Northern Hungary. We do have one guy in there. How bad is it? No, I don't want that map. It's actually kind of bad. Alright, we should send more divisions there. How long do we have to wait to recruit some divisions? I could just prioritize them more. Let's prioritize them more. It should be much faster that way. July the 22nd. Yep, that will be much, much faster. Alright, back to Yugoslavia. Not that we really have to do much. We will obviously win this war quite easily. And then we can attack Bulgaria. Or liberate Bulgaria. And I suppose I could start justifying war on Greece if I want to liberate Greece after that. It's only 25 political power. Might as well do it. There aren't a lot of things that I can spend political power on. Just a few less important advisors and research bonuses. So, yeah. I got all the important things in here. Alright. We are doing quite well. Not that I expected anything else. Is Germany actually attacking them? I think so, yes. And that's that. Wait, we are still fighting. That was the other war, wasn't it? Yeah, clearly it was. So if I check German-French war... No, it didn't capitulate. That was a little bit strange, because we are clearly still at war with them. Alright. No problem. We're done with the next land doctrine. Let's see. What can we get here? I want to work on some naval techs, but also on some air techs. Let's see. 174 days to get a better fighter. Might not be a bad idea. And then we could use the bonus, the 50% bonus, to get the 1944 fighter. I kind of like that plan, actually. Let's go for it. Alright, these are the best ones we currently have, that we're working on. We still need more rubber, let's just buy it. From the Netherlands? I suppose that's okay. Alright, people. Oh, Germany is controlling this area, really? Yeah, I see what happened. Germany got some territory, because Yugoslavia capitulated. That's slightly annoying, but it's not like it really matters. It's not like they will be able to defend it. Did they get any territories with actual resources? No, they didn't. They kind of did, damn it. You serious right now? They got the resources. Well then. That's kind of annoying. But we'll still get the factories. These aren't really crucial resources, but it's still kind of irritating. And I will not have a direct border with Greece until I attack Bulgaria. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, let's finish the job. And we got a new fighter, nice. That's the heavy fighter, so we'll need a completely new production line for that. Okay, what about some air doctrines? I think we'll go for battlefield support. Yeah, I think so. 
let's go for battlefield support. There's a bonus to air superiority missions here. And there are some bonuses to close combat support. Alright, do that. How long do we have to wait for our last research slot? Oh, only 8 days, alright. Won't take long then. Come on, people. Who is that guy fighting? I'm not quite sure who he's fighting. That's funny. Get over there. Which provinces do we still have to take these? It's kind of hard to tell. Are we there yet? I don't want to keep too many divisions in the same province. Yep, we are justifying war against Bulgaria. Carry on. So, kill that guy maybe. That would be great. I think we need more troops over here. Apparently we do. Or maybe they need to start doing something useful. Come on, guys. Make yourselves useful. And we're done with the research slot. Nice. Alright, and now we can go for the 50% infantry weapons bonus. Just need to get one more required focus for that. And what are we going to research? Let's see. I think we should just research support weapons free. Yep. Let's go for that one. Improved computing machine will be done soon. That's a 5% research bonus. And we are almost done here. This will be some really hardcore border guard. <laughs> it was already pretty bad before, but this will be just really bad border guard. Okay, I think we're done here. Just one more province over here. This looks so weird. They actually got an airport here. That's hilarious. And they got Belgrade. That is actually hilarious. But it is what it is. Come on, just kill these guys. And let's go home. Done. That seems to be their last province. Everything else is basically Germany. Yeah, this just looks really, really awkward right now. But it's done. Let's just move. Do we have to remove some orders? I think they are all removed at this point. Alright, new front line in that case. With Bulgaria. What's up, Bulgaria? Can we come with a visit? Just sightseeing. Wait, there's still one more guy in here, alright. Mm, no. That's just a fleet. Doesn't matter. Not something we care about. And this is not Yugoslavia. Yep, this is Germany right now. Alright then. Are we done recruiting more infantry? We should be almost done by now. No, I guess not. We need to wait until 22nd. We are almost done, actually. And how many factories do we have? 64 civilian and 58 military. How's our construction queue? Well, we need to do a lot of repairs. Let's remove the forts for now. They aren't that important. We'll just finish the one that's almost done. And we'll repair all that crap. Maybe repair the civilian factory faster. Prioritize that more. And there's the improved computing machine. Nice one. Let's see. We could unlock the radar station, which is not a terrible idea. If I'm going to get some fighters. Hey, we could get minus 2% research time. Yeah, okay, let's get that then. No problem. Make that 50% bonus useful. Man, this is just so bad right here. Clearly we have to fix this by attacking the Axis. I don't actually have a direct border with Italy. 
which is funny. But Bulgaria first. What's up, Bulgaria? What are they right now? 49% fascist, alright. 47% non-aligned. They didn't join a faction. Too bad for them. Okay, four more days. What's going on here? Okay, I did not see that coming. We might want to handle that. How did they get there exactly? Lithuania. Okay, we need to handle this, and quickly. We're about to get some more divisions. Alright, let's grab these guys. Need to unassign them. Yep, we have to handle this. It shouldn't be too hard. But if I let it escalate, it's going to be bad. I mean, I can always just bring my entire army. However, that would be slight overkill in this situation. I'm still a little bit confused about what exactly happened here, but hey, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Let's handle this. I should probably just create an army here, you know, to get a bonus from the general. Perhaps that won't be necessary. How bad is it? Okay, they do have... yeah, okay, they have a lot of crap in there. We might need a slightly better plan in here. We do, in fact, need a slightly better plan in here. I might have to bring my army after all. I think we have to bring some of our army. Maybe not the entire one. Okay, let's bring some of these guys. Just unassign them. You know what we can do? Well, no, the cavalry simply isn't good enough. So, no, we'll just unassign a few guys. This should be fine. And we'll create a brand new army and assign the level 4 general. Yeah, this guy is level 4. He's not super useful with these divisions, but alright. Strategic redeployment. It will take us a while to actually get here. But that's okay. And I could assign these guys to that army as well. They will get the bonuses. So that works. That was supposed to be the garrison right here. I might have to reorganize this a bit. Okay. This might get interesting. I totally did not expect an invasion here. We should be able to handle it. Might want to attack from more than one direction. They got 13 divisions in there. Okay, that is a lot. Alright, let's attack from more than one direction. I think we'll have to wait for more troops here. It's because of the stupid port. Yeah, we'll have to wait for more troops here, clearly. For that other army that's currently redeploying. Well then. Yeah, we'll clearly have to wait for that army, unfortunately. What are you guys doing? They are confused about life. Where are they moving exactly? I can't quite tell where they are moving. These guys. It looks a little bit strange. I'm not 100% sure what exactly is happening. Something is clearly happening. You know, we can attack like this, because we can. We can actually move through German territory, which is kind of hilarious. They will never see that one coming. 
Oh, Germany is also attacking them here, all right. 17 divisions. They are landing a lot of crap here. I think I might have to move in with my army before this escalates too much. However, I'm going to do that in the next episode. Thanks for watching this one. And I'll see you next time. Things are getting exciting.